Why are you looking at me? You like you keep looking at it. Do you know how zoomed in it is to your mouth right now? It's like it's what? like you're just literally teeth. You know what I feel like? You, you remember the Austin Powers movie where the guy had the mold? Yeah, you, that's it. That's what I feel like right now. Yep. You keep staring at it. It's a nice mold. Stop it. Uh, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna talk about Hub, guys. The Hub Anatomy and Anatomy. Anatomy. That's why I said. You said an enemy. No, I didn't. An enemy like. I said Ethan. an enemy. Okay. An enema. So, uh, just the parts of it and and basic like like the basic real quick. Uh, maintenance on it. So first of all, uh, right here we have actually, guys. If you guys can tell the difference, besides the size of it, these are actually two entirely different hubs. This is a ca cassette, not cat set, cassette. This is a free coaster. So if you guys, real quick rundown, real quick rundown, a cassette. Usually indication is it has a little click, pedals forward, and as it rolls back, this hub, the gear, rolls back with it. Free coaster, there is no clicking, no clicking. And when you pedal forward, if you go backward, guess what guys, look, the gear doesn't move. Those are the two major difference in a cassette and a free coaster, okay? Got that? Cool. Other than that, they both do the same thing. They propel the bike. So one of the things that we, we get a lot of people come in going, dude, what is wrong with my hub? My hub is not smooth, okay? One of the things that we look at, first and foremost, is this thing right here. Okay, I'm gonna unscrew this. This little piece right here, cone nut, jam nut, whatever you have it. But this little nut right here, you see this is the driver. You see that little hairline crack through it? This right here, you see how it's stepped like this? It's all a hub guard will fit on it, okay? But sometimes when, when you ride so hard, this little flange right here, it actually gets crushed. It gets bent and it'll hit the driver body. So a hairline crack right there, these two pieces are gonna touch together. That way it makes this thing not as smooth. It, it has abrasion. What you want to do is, this one right here, you guys see, there's an Allen key right there. It's a number six. Put this in. Get it adjustable. Put that in there. Put this on and open it, okay? And watch. See, as you see it, I open it, it gets bigger and bigger. So if you guys happen to have that problem where this thing bends in and it touches this. Real simple guys, unscrew this. See this little wall? Go get a file. I know this is not a file, because I'm ghetto. It's hot. I'm not about to walk all over there. And my toe is still infected. File this thing down. File this little lip. If you have yourself a grinder, see how I did that? All I did was unscrew this and just wiggle that thing out. It's that simple. See, it has a little lip. Put it on the grinder. You got your grinder right there and grind that little lip off just a, a little bit. So then when it goes back together, it would have that little space again. So it won't hit that. If let's say it, if let's say you see how there's a little space right here, you, there's no space at the bearings right there. So guess what, guys? What you would do, what I would recommend, this, this little wall, this little I don't know, mohawk is whatever you call it. Grind that whole thing down. Grind that whole thing down, the whole lip down. Yes, it's gonna make the hub guard not fit as good, but it's better than having a hub seized up. While we have this thing taken apart, if you guys notice, it looks dry, but it's actually not dry. There is an oil in there. You can see the little glistening of that, the Afro Sheen spray that's in there. Um, so there is oil in here, it's not, it's not bone dry. It's in there. Sometime when it gets bone dry, just put a little bit of uh, tri-flow in there and put it back in. So to put it back in, push it back in and see, as soon as you turn it, you feel the click. After you feel clicking, wiggle it, turn it and push at the same time. Turn and push, pops right in guys. After you grind that, that, that down or grind this down, whichever first, it won't do any damage to this. And keep in mind guys, your hub is already damaged. We're trying to make it still work without you going out and buying a new one and completely 
destroying this. Screw this back on. So on the other side, same thing. You got the, the number six Allen put in there. Put this thing on, open it, crack it open. If you guys look real carefully, you see how the tolerance on this, this jam nut right here, the thing I'm unscrewing and the hub body, look at how close it is together. So after a while, when you guys are grinding, 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 this little piece right here, it's going to it's going to dent in. It's going to touch that metal piece. When it touches that, the hub's not gonna feel as smooth, it's gonna bind. So same thing, guys. You would unscrew this side, grind this little lip, this little lip right here. Grind it down a little, so it won't touch it. It won't do any damage. Guys, that little lip right there, all it is is a dust cover. And some of you guys are, well then you're defeating the purpose of, of having it. Guys, if the hub is already damaged like that, I'm showing you how to make the longevity out of this hub work. So you grind that thing down, put it back in, and you're gonna see it's not gonna touch. Guess what? Hub's gonna feel smooth. How do you clean the inside? Real easy, guys. Good question, good, good, good. See guys, that's what I need. Just like what Alf did, I need you, some of you guys to comment in like that, because sometimes it's so simple that I don't think about it. So guys, when you guys open it up, you guys are gonna see inside's really dirty. But if you guys also notice, it's a sealed bearing. So you don't go and start spraying stuff in there, start doing all that. You're gonna go and feel it. You know what, it's still smooth, but it's just dirty. In that case, all you do is get a rag and just wipe it. Wipe it, wipe it, and you're all good. If you go like this and it's, it's, it's real choppy, it's real rough, and it's all dirty, most likely the bearing inside is gone, it's dust. Okay, get rid of it. Other than that, the steel bearing's pretty reliable, especially on this demolition one. They use really good bearings. So you go in a smooth, it's just dirty, just wipe it. No spraying, no nothing, no cleaner. Just wipe it down and, and reassemble it. You guys, believe it or not, here at the shop, we rarely like use any kind of cleaner unless it's old school, it's cake on there. Otherwise, we just get a rag, we just wipe it off. Now guys, one of the thing, one of the thing that I actually for, also forgot because it's, it's these little minor things. When you guys are disassembling this, okay, this is a brand new hub so you don't see it. When you guys disassemble this, you guys be careful. Look at the end of the axle. Some of them, because it hits on the ground, it gets smashed. So this thing's unscrew freely. But when you get here and it'll get rough, that's because that thread's so messed up. If you guys continue to unscrew this out, it's going to jack up the whole nut. So right here, if you guys notice, the ends are all chewed up. This is a new one, again. If you have an old one, you guys could relate. It's all chewed up. Get a file and file all that down. Put it on the grinder and grind that little off, that little section off. Just get rid of that, that messed up thread or else better yet, just cut that section off and clean it and then unscrew it out. Otherwise, you get here and you're like, oh dude, it's rough, I'm gonna force it out, you're gonna unscrew it. It's going to completely destroy that nut, it will never come back in. This thing won't come off, that won't come off. That's the real quick and nitty gritty on a cassette. Free coaster, kind of the same thing, it's got the same property. This is a female one, okay guys? And what I talk about female, I'm taking you guys back to middle school. Okay, we're gonna go through this male and female thing. This here is a male where the nut screws in to here, that's a male axle. Female axle, you know it. And the male bolt goes into the female axle. Female, male. Ah, some of you guys are like, oh, I see. You guys are the one I'm worried about, okay? So the female axle, you get that thing out, you unscrew this. The luxury about the female that, that you don't get with this is, remember I was telling you how the end of it get crushed? It doesn't get crushed. That little piece is covered by the dropout, it's protected. This piece just goes in, so you don't have to worry about that. But, on the free coaster, on this particular one, we don't have that dust cover issue, like this. Unscrew this. This one right here, see, it's a little rough. This one doesn't use a number six. It uses a number 10. That's an odd size. This is a cold one. The reason why I'm doing it on the older Colt ones because the brand new one, I haven't yet seen it messed up. It, it, it's good. These older ones, there are more of them out there, so I see them a little bit more messed up, so I'm gonna use this one. You guys can relate with it. A number 10, I'm gonna crack this guy open, okay? Put a number 10 in here. You're gonna crack, crack this one open. Start unscrewing this. Okay, guys. This is a very, very common thing that you guys do. 
Notice as I'm come, I'm unscrewing this. I don't know if you guys noticed something, but the washer is right here. It's stuck on the cone nut. So some of you guys don't know, and you guys just throw this thing down, and look what happened. That thing falls off, and you guys don't even realize, and you gotta put it back on, it doesn't work right. But notice something, guys. This washer is not flat. It's domed up a little on one side, and one side's flat. Normally, you guys would automatically think that if I put it back together, I'm gonna put the flat side in. No. Everybody makes that mistake. I've done it occasionally because when I was in a rush. You wanna put the dome side facing in. And then you put this thing in. You see how one side's neural, one side's not? The not side is in. The reason why you put it in backward like this is because this little lip, it's going to touch that inner part of the bearing. If you put it in this side, the whole thing's gonna to touch all the way outside, it's gonna make it very rough. So keep that in mind. Remember I told you how this thing's really rough? I took it apart, look how dirty it is. Believe it or not, sometimes rough, all you do is you take this and look, wipe it down. All this is dirt, sand, and the dirt and the sand actually does that. And look, as, as soon as it's clean, I, when I turn it, it's actually already smooth. I love this stuff. I just wanna let you know, TriFlow does not give me this for free. I pay for this, but this stuff is the best. We have it here. All I do is I take and I drip it into the, into the body. That's it. You use it very, very sparingly because if you don't, it becomes like a dirt magnet. Put that in there. Reassemble this. Remember, remember this thing. The dome part goes in first. Snug it down. And guys, a lot smoother. All it was was sand and stuff like that that made it rough. If after you guys do that and it's, it's still not good, if you look at this, taking the driver out is very easy. All you do is unscrew it. Look, as I turn it, see how it's lifting up? It's that easy. If it's hard, then there's something else going on inside. But look guys, look. I know you guys can't see it, but there is dirt, sand. It looked like a, it looked like a pepper mill right here. All you do is take this, wipe all that. Wipe all that dirt off right here. Oh, you could, you could hear it. Do you hear it? That's sand, guys. That's not, that's not the, the, the hub junk, it's sand. This hub wasn't taken care of. After you wipe all this stuff down, you're gonna go put a little bit of loop. Now, if you guys notice, there's a little crack right here. So this, this bearing, this, bear, this hub's really old. This bearing right here is popping out. There's probably most likely sand inside. Now you guys could go and go to the extreme and pop the shield out and clean all that bearing out. But again, if you guys want to watch me tear down this whole thing and do in detail, comment in. You know, I'm not gonna do anything if nobody's gonna request it, you know? So comment in if you wanna see me take it completely apart and overhaul this. But for now, we're gonna do it real quick. So after I clean this, I'm gonna put a little bit of tri-flow right here I'm not gonna put grease, guys. Just a little bit of oil. That's all clean, this is all clean. Look guys, all you do is slide it in, and look, push it in, turn it, and it pops right in. If it's hard, there's something else going on. Reassemble the dome part in, neural part out, screw it on, Smooth as eggs. Hey, who could guess what, what that, that line came from? Smooth as eggs. If you guys guess it, Alf will give you a free t-shirt. <laughs> why, why are you shaking your head? You got more t-shirts than I do to give away. <laughs> you know how many people ask me for a t-shirt? I don't, I don't have it. Okay, so that's the drive side. So, on the free coat side, on, I mean, on the hub, on the non-driver side, on a free coaster, it's different from a cassette. Most of the guys riding a cassette, they're not riding street. Most. If you're riding a free coaster, you're riding street, and there's a lot of beating down on this. You can see, you guys see, this one had very minor amount. But on, on normal circumstances, this thing is so beat up, and, it, and there's some binding, some rough. I guarantee you, it's this. When I unscrew this, notice the neural side out. I unscrew this. Sometimes, remember again. When you unscrew it, make sure the thread is it's good. Unscrew this. One of the problems that happens the most is this hub guard is bent in. And when it's bent in, guys, it's hitting the spokes. 
it's hitting the body. So what the first indication I look at, is there any silver? See how this hole is black and it's still black right here? If there's some silver rubbing, that means it's hitting the inside of the hub guard because of all the bashing and bashing. So in that case, if, again, the same thing I said about the, the, the cassette. See how that little lip? Get a file and file it down, file it down. As long as the bearing's still protecting that you file it down and get some clearance, put on the grinder, and then put this back on and check to see if it's still hit. If it's still hitting and you grind down so much already, you gotta go in for surgery. Get yourself a grinder or a Dremel and grind this part out. Don't touch this little cone part. Grind this little part out right here. Cause this is what's hitting this. Then all you have to do is keep going back to see if it clears. Sometimes there's a little lip, it forms right here and it's hitting the spoke. Grind that down. After you do that, look how dirty that is. While you're in here, why not? Get a rag. Notice I'm not using any kind of cleaner. Look how clean that is. Don't spray any cleaner in there. Just wipe it down because it's a seal bearing. It's good. Put this back together. Look, look how well that screws on. And if, if it clears, if it clears, then guess what? You did good. If not, then go in there and grind it out a little bit more. File, file it out a little bit more. Reassemble this thing right here, neural side out. Screw it back on. All the threads good. Isn't that like an in-depth on how to how to repair a hub doing that? It's a very real quick, nitty-gritty, kind of like an intro version, kind of like a sampling. I'm giving you guys a rundown real quick on how to uh, do a real quick maintenance on it and how to repair a little bit of binding, but real quick. If you guys want to see it more in depth in the free coaster or the cassette, comment it in. Go on, please, please, please. The more comment I see on one or the other, the more likely I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, if I just get one person, then I'm just gonna do a video on one person. You know, comment it in and tell me if that's what you guys want and I'll break this whole thing down or I'll break this whole thing down and I'll rebuild it. And anything else you guys wanna do, it's all about if you guys wanna engage. If you guys engage with me, I'll play. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in and please like and subscribe. Till next time.